What happens when I miss an Adderall dose? Because I have, I have, I've, I've done it a few different times. <laughs> but what happens when you actually miss your meds? Uh, I wanted to share about this because I do get a lot of people that reach out to me about it. Um, I do a lot on social media when it comes to mental health, mental illness. Uh, you might have even seen me on TikTok. I don't know. But this is really what happens when I miss, at least for me, um, my Adderall doses. If you haven't hit the like and subscribe button, hit that like and subscribe button. My name is Eric. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a counselor. I'm not a therapist. I'm none of that. I'm diagnosed with ADHD, PTSD, GAD, and MDD. I lost a wife and a father to suicide. I'm a recovering cocaine and alcoholic addict. And I like to share all of my struggles, experiences, resources, and tools that I can to help anybody out there struggling. Because the more that we share, the more that it does help others. What happens when I miss an Adderall dose? So if you're not familiar with ADHD, ADHD is all up here and it's a massive amount of thoughts, confusion, just everything combined into a big soup pile, whirlwind that's spinning around. And when I take Adderall, everything does slow down for me to the point that I can be a productive human being. Missing my meds is one of the worst things ever. Um, and I don't notice it until actually midday. So as my dosage works like this. I take 10 milligrams from about 7.30 to 8 in the morning. Then I take another dose uh, right around 12.30, 1 o'clock. What Adderall allows me to do is actually focus in and be a productive adult. Uh, I get my to-do list together. I get what I have to do for the day down. And at the time of the day, I feel like, hey, I've been very productive. I'll give you an idea. Like today, I've taken my meds. So what I've done today is I woke up, I worked out, I walked my dogs, I took a shower, I changed my clothes, I cleaned up the bedroom. Um, I ended up putting up, I think it was six different TikToks. I ended up responding to all my work email, responded to a bunch of personal emails, responded to a bunch of texts that I had gotten because my number had went viral just recently on TikTok. Ended up clearing out a lot of my text. I ended up going out and I got lunch. I ended up uh, coming back and I wanted to take a nap, didn't take a nap. So instead I put together my list of what I needed to do and got my work calls all done. And it is now one o'clock. So, I mean, I had a pretty decently productive morning. Without my Adderall, I will get to the extent of, I'll get the workout done, I'll walk the dogs, I'll take the shower, clean the room, and now my brain starts to go. And now all of a sudden I can't focus. And, and I have all these ideas and things that I wanna do today. And I don't know where to start. Everything seems like a mountain. Um, even just doing a TikTok video or, or recording a YouTube video seems like almost an impossible task. And it kind of weighs here. And the unfortunate thing is sometimes it doesn't register in our brains. Hey, guess what? You forgot your Adderall. Um, I'll notice that I'm outside. I'm smoking more cigarettes than normal. And time is just going by. And I start to beat myself up going, why is the day passing me by and I'm not being productive? And I've shared about this before that Adderall actually helps me with my anxiety and depression. Without it, my anxiety and depression actually jump up because I become very self-defeating. I, I realize that the day is passing me by. I'm very big on being productive. I'm very big on doing as much as I can every single day. So when I'm not, I'm going, what's wrong with me? Why are you, why are you like this? See, you knew this would happen. And it's like I'm, I become my own worst bully and I just start destroying myself. Um, and usually when this is happening, now I become so fixated on... I can't control what's going on up here to even go, man, you got to hit your second dose right now. It's already noon. And without my meds by noon, I haven't done anything. Like I have literally sat outside. I probably smoked a half a pack of cigarettes. I've drank two Red Bulls. The caffeine's helped me a little bit, but still not nearly enough. I'm not doing a to-do list. And I'm literally going insane and I'm getting angry at myself. I'm getting frustrated at myself. I am getting to the point that I'm just upset. And I'm upset with myself and I feel like I'm letting myself down now all of a sudden. I feel like I'm letting others down. Now all of a sudden the afternoon hits and it just becomes even worse. Um, it becomes that point where I'm like, dude, you have wasted the day. And I'm like doing everything I can to like pull whatever I can together to try and remotely do something. And most of the time it seems just so impossible. Um, for me to sit down and read a book is impossible. And the worst is if like the TV is going, all of a sudden, next thing you know, I become almost hyper-focused on the TV. And now the rest of the day is gone. Now, now the day is shot. And that is the worst because even then at night, my anxiety is so high because I, I, I'm like, dude, I didn't do anything today. Now I have to do it tomorrow. Why can't I focus? And usually by then is when it will register with me. You didn't take your meds. What were you thinking? And I have to always sit back and remember, okay, you didn't take your meds, dude. Because if I don't latch onto it and, and think about going, oh man, I didn't take my meds, 
I just become extremely self-destructive on myself. I become extremely depressed um, because the day is now went away. The day is went away. Like I wasted a day and, and every day to me is a gift. And so I want to make the best of it. And if I didn't do and wasn't productive, I feel that I just wasted it. And, and I feel like I let people down, even though maybe I didn't even let anyone down. I still feel like I let people down and I feel like a massive failure and I have a massive failure complex. And uh, that's the one thing that will actually lead me to self-harming um, is, is how my brain works when it comes to I'm a failure and I need to feel, feel that. And so ADHD is a struggle. And it, even when it comes to a lot of the other mental illnesses out there, I mean, our meds are everything. And if it doesn't, it throws us off. Uh, it throws us off completely. And you might be able to push through for one or two days. I mean, if I know that I can't take my meds because I've ran out, whatever the, the reasoning might be, uh, or I forgot to pack them with me, it's a little bit of a different thing because I'm very conscious of it um, versus not really being conscious going, what's wrong? Because like it seems like it should be common sense and I'm going, oh, I missed my meds. Awesome. They they keep us together and they keep us in line. And and that's the thing that, you know, I always hated when people will say, oh, you know, you don't really need those meds. Well, you don't live my life. You, you don't live inside my brain and what it's like. Like start a thousand different projects and don't even finish them and see how that feels because it's a pretty crappy feeling that you have all this stuff started and then you, you almost start hoarding stuff because you don't want to give it away because it's a project that you're going to work on. And it's it's amazing how our brain gets that way. And so when it comes to the ADHD, I got to take my meds. I mean, with me not taking my meds for that day, I mean, I'm going to shower still. I'm going to, I'm going to brush my teeth. I'm going to eat, you know, I'm going to do the basics. Uh, I'm not going to have anything of any remote production done. And I'm going to start beating myself up the entire day. And I'm going to be going, you, something's wrong. Why aren't you doing this? Why are you failing everybody? And it's hard because my brain goes more to that route than, hey, maybe you want to take your meds. It goes, hey, you're failing everybody. Not, hey, maybe you should take your meds and it will all be better here at noon. Uh, and you can salvage the day. So if you do struggle with remembering even to take your meds, make sure that you set alarms. I mean, I've set alarms for my Adderall. I set alarms for eating. So there's a lot of different things that you can set alarms for. So if you do struggle with remembering to take your meds, set alarms for it. And sometimes you're gonna to need to set two or three alarms because the alarm's gonna go off and you're gonna be like, ah, screw that, click it. Have another alarm then that goes off three minutes later. But you gotta know yourself and just a lot of it's being honest with yourself of realistically how much do I, I, I need to hound myself in a sense to make sure that I'm taking my meds. Because the, let's face it, we've all been there too where we look at our meds and we're like, I just wanna be normal like everybody else. Well, one in four people struggle with mental illness, trust me. You're normal. I think we are the normal. I think the people that don't take meds, I think they're not normal. So you can't beat yourself up over that. And just remember that they're tools. I mean, it's what allows us to make it through the day. And that's not a bad thing at all. So don't forget, please. <laughs> Struggling without ADHD meds is a, is a pain. And I wish that there was like easy hacks around it, like there is with anxiety or there is with... Um, uh, struggles like with self-harm, but th there isn't easy hacks when it comes to ADHD because it is all very chemical, very how your brain works. Um, there's not, hey, do this, do this, and do this, and guess what? You're going to override what's happening in here. The, it doesn't work that way. I mean, the only coping that remotely helps is caffeine. So if you are struggling out there and you've never been to a doctor before, I mean, get with a therapist, get with a doctor, get diagnosed, uh, the whole thing of everything I wanted to do was to bridge the gap between a crisis hotline and therapy with all the resources, tools, support that you could for anybody out there struggling. I mean, if you haven't hit the like and subscribe button, hit the like and subscribe button, comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. In the description, I have links to all my different social medias. I have links to all of my different uh, Discord communities for free peer-to-peer -peer support. I have links down below to things on Amazon like fidget cubes, fidget spinners, things that I use when I'm struggling uh, with anxiety or struggling with depression to help calm it down. Even have a link down below to better help. I mean, it's trial and error to find out what works for you when it comes to therapy. And when you find the right therapist and you get the right help, life becomes so much easier. So, you know, check it out, but do you and, and find what works for you because what works for me may not work for you. So find what works for you. Even have a link down below to renewal recovery. I mean, it's, it's mental health inpatient rehab for 30 days, you know, trial and error with your meds, with a therapist, just to get everything back on track for you because you are an amazing human being and you know what? You deserve it. You're a BAMP. You're a badass motherfucker. 
You made it through 100% of your worst days to make it through two today. And you got this. So let's do this together. Hit that like and subscribe button.